Hey guys, it's me Adita back on Asia Industry and today I'm going to be shooting a video on how to make an easy paper joker action figure. And this is the third video in the action figure month and uh, uh, in my previous video I said that I'd make a Godzilla model or action figure but that takes a lot of effort and uh, thinking to make so I'm unable to do that so let's start this video with the materials required obviously you'll need an A4 size paper and extra material are two pieces of two bits of wires um, let me just measure both are uh, I guess equal and they're about 5.5 cm inches 5.5 inches and pencil scale scissors and tape obviously requires some crayons and in the starting I'll just take out the colors I need I guess I'll just need is about I need green I need red and purple where's purple there it is purple I need purple and that's about it I guess yeah I'll take a yellow that's it we need we might need sandpaper so that's all we need uh extra stuffs okay i always forget to keep this in there there it is now let's start off by taking our a4 size and the two pieces of uh, these wire these are aluminium wire i guess doesn't look like copper and these wires are bendable and stays in the position you want it to stay so one part is gonna be like you and the another is gonna be the same one is for the arm and another is for the legs so let's start <coughs> Okay guys, now all I did here was took some strips of paper and now I'm going to cut it into half. So these are going to be 8 pieces for the hands and the legs. I'll put that aside. Next thing I want to do is make the body. And it depends on the size of your wire you're doing it. So I'm just measuring the size I need.
So basically I'm just planning to do that with the body. So we have like a stickman kind of figure, right? And I'm gonna cut up a, a little small millimeters of uh, piece. And then there it is, we can make a head out of that. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Okay, moving on. I need to make the head. For the head, I'm going to take this again and cut it out. Let's say that's enough. Okay. Next thing is the hand. Yep, that's it. Ooh, it's going out perfectly. I haven't made an action figure with the wires for a long time, so I thought this would be pretty difficult for me. But it's not. I still remember those... Right. Okay. These are supposed to be feet. And next thing we have to do is color this thing up to make it look like a real Joker's suit up. Okay, I'm gonna start with some designing and after I finish the coloring, I'm, I'll be back and show you guys. Okay guys, I just finished it and there is the final product. I'm just kidding, this is nothing. Ha! Yeah, yeah, you guys were correct. It's just, uh, I'm planning on making an action figure like this one, because, I mean, the design must be like this one, because the other from the Batman Dark Knight Return, that looks cool, but, you know, uh, the Joker from the new upcoming uh, DC movie is quite a lot like this, but not like that, right? So, okay, let's carry on. And actually, the stuffs I truly made right there is this, the main uh, body, and these stuffs. And I couldn't find the head. Where's the head? Oh no! There is the head, and I colored it. Oops. Anyways, while coloring it, it should be like this. So. Just the tip must be colored for other part doesn't seem to be visible. Now next thing we want to do is make a face for this guy. And won't take much time. Okay. I'll just draw it right there. Okay, I guess that looks fine. Yep, I came up with that. Now it's time to fill in some red color in there. In the mouth, and that's done. Awesome. I'll just put some yellow. Because he's pale. Okay, there it is. I'm done with the head. Now, next thing we want to do is cut out a hair like this. I don't know how to make a wig like that, a 3D 
scope. I'll deal with that later on and let's continue the build with these things. Now oops. God damn it, where is it? Yep. Now all we have to do is insert those stuff in its original places. Like so. And then make it permanent by using tape or any sticking material. So let's just stick this there. Awesome. And let's just fold it there like so. And tape it in a circular way so it doesn't come outside. There it is. The main body has been fixed to that. Now we gotta do is put the hand in there and put the hand. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go up nor it goes down so I put a piece of the tape there put the hand there and keep another piece of tape above that so it won't come up either okay yep there it is it works there is our joker's body ready for action now let's just put in the face pretty quick you just roll it there like so ooh that looks creepy man I don't like it I think the head is too big but huh oh well actually I I'm starting to like it. That's that's fine. It's fine. Okay. And I'm gonna stick the head so it doesn't come out. I could make it like rotating 360, but that would be, uh, you know, a huge pain to make it uh, not come out as well. And as well as like to fix it there. Now, next thing you wanna do is. Let's attach these legs there, and while attaching these legs, this is too big, isn't it? And while attaching these legs, uh, all you have to do is put the arm out. What did I just say? While attaching the, while attaching the arm, you need to put that arm out, and then just roll it and do the same for the uh, leg. Just roll it like that. And make sure this purple colored part remains outside. And this is what I actually mean. It should be like so, so his hand looks like that. And then it is able to be like folded like so, but not it cannot be folded there because even out of this part cannot be folded, right? So I'm gonna do this with other seven pieces and we'll be back again. Guys, I completed uh putting all those rolls together and it looks like that. The face looks quite creepy. But for the body, it looks fine. And he's not too fat because Joker's never fat, is he? Yeah, and he's got all the articulations. He can do a running position like so. Or he can just sit down or he can like relax. Or he can just... Dab. Or you can do anything, man. So, that's pretty much working out as I planned, but one thing is remaining that, like, I cannot do, and that is the hair. That's it. That does not look great. So, I need to make a hair, and I have no idea. But before making the head, I mean hair, I've got some cool stuff to do. Uh, you see these toothpicks? These can be like a knife for Joker, so he can like stab, right? 
And to make that, I'll be needing a piece of tape like so. And I need to uh, uh, stick it to this uh, toothpick. And I need to just uh, simply attach the tape to the hand. And that's it. Then I've got to roll this another piece of tape in over that tape so that tape we put before won't come out and then simply this can be taken out so you can see a structure in his hand in which like a knife or a toothpick fits perfectly like so and comes out so you can do this with both the hands and that's what I'm gonna do next but I'll be attaching only one of the toothpicks because the other one's pretty big because knives aren't big, right? But there it is. I'm gonna take that off. And we have a perfect action figure there. Now moving to the hair, let's just cut out a small piece. A square kind of piece. Like so. And then, wait, I got a cool idea, guys. I can make like a structure, which I'll just show you guys in a bit of a second. But I'm having some problems. This might not work. All I'm trying to do is make like a, ca a cap and then stick it to his head and cut it out in a way that it's like, you know, it's coming out like that. So, wait a minute, I'll just figure it out and come back. Okay, guys, the final product is out. So, I was unable to do anything and all I could do was do the simple normal haircut so I just added the normal hair like so and that doesn't match quite with Joker's face anyways I'm satisfied with that Joker and he's surely gonna kill some Batman from far he looks awesome like he's gonna stab someone and that knife comes out and it just fits right in and I want to show you guys something which I've shown a long time ago in my older videos that is I'm gonna bring his opponent Batman and this guy is pretty dope his hair spins and below his hair you can see that guy's face there I drew it and he's me that is me okay literally that is me I drew myself and that's Batman with the cape and even he has all those kind of articulations and joints like every single movement same like uh, the Joker so I really wish they two were alive the, their height matches and the Joker can stab him or the Batman can knock him down anything can happen so anyways that's it for this video and I can't remember I did I mention that I put the food in there and that's it for this video thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it hope you learned to make uh, these kind of cool action figures don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video comment me down below what should I do next in my next video and subscribe to my channel bye bye joker out